Hey, I wanted to talk about a subject that's going to get out of hand quite quickly. And that is inventory management and having additional inventory options. Now, I know a lot of people, they are very used to managing inventory and just like me, can rely on just a small amount of open spaces to explore and uh, I mean this is a lot this is I'll take this any day uh, portal mats workbench mats a little bit of maybe one or two extra spaces and we're chilling right you can set up that portal and just teleport back deposit your mats boom you have inventory again and you can keep going right However, that's not leaving us very many options for optimal gear going forward, let's say into the Ashlands. So maybe in Hilder's Quest, we get a little extra inventory option. Hmm? Now that could be many things, could be a little backpack, uh, it could be a potion case, could be a quiver or a bolt case, you know? It could be a uh, space or some sort of gear option, uh, some sort of strengthening buff so that you can have your armor in separate slots or maybe weapons as well. Maybe. Now, me personally, right? I found out the GOAT strat for that melee armor is swapping from full Fenris to the Root Harness. This has covered me so often in terms of speed, just enough defensiveness, and of course resistances in the right areas so that I can go deathless in the Mistlands co-op, which I did on my community server run. The only time I died once we hit the Mistlands was in the plains because I didn't eat too much food and a one star falling bopped me. Now, because I have everything covered there, it would be unintuitive for me to have armor slots off to the side that were locked piece by piece because I want to have these two, the coat and the root harness, so close together that swapping them as easy as can be so that I can meet the right uh, circumstance with the right resistance. If everything's all separated over here, like I see in some mods, in the middle of your screen, then it begins to be quite annoying, swap back and forth. And while I could get used to that very easily, it is still not as convenient as having them here. However, that's only if the pieces are locked piece by piece. If we got a free spot because of an extra backpack or a free section of slots, having them be completely free like they are in the main inventory would mean I could keep my armor in a separate slot, but also have them at an easy access if I want to swap back and forth for certain tactical situations. It would still keep me aware because I still want to have priority items over here, you know, if the additional inventory is right here, it's really quick when I open my inventory to make that swap from the middle of my screen. Of course, that's where the cursor shows up when I open my inventory. And so that's why I have my potions over here. Of course, there's also the option of having these additional slots be linked to a key, just like our lovely hotbar is right now. So you see a lot of... Uh, 9-10-0 mods, you know, not 9-10-0, look, 9-0 mods, uh, you know, for two extra slots, or, uh, what is it, uh, there's like a, a V, VGH or something, something like that, for three extra slots, like, down here, right here, next to the Forsaken Power, uh, I think that would be good as, like, a, a potion thing, a lot of people seem to have if they're uh, modding their game at all it's purely for that inventory option they want their stuff free so that they can have more uh longer and lovelier adventures 
and they can come back satisfied with their haul, and I completely understand that. Completely, completely understand it. So, now, in the real game, unattached to a mod, could we get something like that? Sure. I think that it would come at a cost, and it wouldn't just be an extra thing. That cost would either be fulfilling Hilder's quest, if that's where the quest reward would be, or it would take some sort of other slot. Now, what slots do we have for that to take? Well, number one would be the accessory slot. Now, the odd thing is we already have the Megangjord here, and that already increases the carry weight. And so my question is, why doesn't it also increase the slots that we get? It's already wicked expensive. It's already that wonderful priority. Maybe this gets upgraded so that we have more slots to carry. Perhaps in Hilda's Quest. Or the Ashlands. Who knows? Maybe it's something that you get from uh, either Bone Master Modare or even after the Queen is killed. Because right now those three bosses, after you kill them, the traitor doesn't unlock anything new. Which is quite painful at the moment. Because other items that were restricted, you unlock them. I kind of wish that the items weren't restricted. And then new items were granted when we had killed bosses. Maybe they'll add in new things for Bomas and Modair and Queen. Well, I mean, Queen, I feel like, definitely has to have something unlocked at Haldor after her defeat, right? Maybe these could be inventory related. A potion case would be wonderful. Quiver, of course. All of that would be great. Quiver would be like the easiest thing ever. I mean, you could lock these uh, three, four arrow slots uh, up. Even if it could be like two arrow slots, it would be so easy. Just hot code them, or even if I'm if I have to manually right click and switch them, it could be pretty damn easy to get that done, right? So, I think that a quiver, or a bolt case, or both, could be made and made easily. Uh, I think those wouldn't necessarily have to take anything other than weight. And let's also talk about weight. Because here's the pie-in-the-sky solution that I don't think they'll ever implement, but I think that makes total sense. We already have an inventory restrictive system in terms of weight. We've had it the whole time. So the question is, do we need inventory slot restrictions at all in addition to that? Why couldn't we just have an additional scroll GUI and then just scroll down to fit what we need? Or even if the space could be uh, lengthened, maybe eventually we could scroll. We already have a limiting factor in weight. Hmm. We're still making decisions and doing analysis when we figure out all of the things that we want in our inventory. We can't just bring it all, especially with how many side grades and niche use things that we have. There's no way you could bring it all and have it still remain uh, feasible to just keep gathering and taking materials that are going to be heavy. So we're getting to a point where, okay, well, cart's not feasible anymore because Mistlands terrain, no good. Ashlands terrain, based off the concept art, doesn't look like it's going to be good for cart either. The boats might be a little limited, especially when it comes to Mistlands. Of course, we have the Yawl, which are just absolutely anti-boat. They are not longship friendly. You got to be on top of things with them. And of course, they were recently buffed to deal even more fire damage. They regained their double shot. And I do believe that ships are weak to fire. So, gotta be really careful. Still though, I do think in the Ashlands we might get a fire resistant, lava resistant ship. That would be really cool. That would be super interesting. I think it would look amazing too. So the boat storage. Boat storage is on and off. And cart storage is definitely off. Because of that, I feel like we need something. We gotta have something. So let me know what you think. Do you want the pie-in-the-sky solution of eliminating all inventory slots? 
and just having infinite? Or do you want a more measured solution, one that we would most likely implement, let's say, backpack? Maybe that would take your cape slot. Hmm. Maybe you would take the accessory slot. Hmm. Potion case. Bolt case. Quiver. Special buff or something that might give you armor slots. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you what you like or what you would want if you have any of your own unique ideas. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this uh, really cool incubator that uh, my friend made. You, many folks have already seen this on our, my first ever Mistlands co-op run. Love this thing. But yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys some other time. Bye!